Have you ever wanted to mount a gun in your car or your truck? Well, of course you have, because that would be freaking awesome. This is a nice mounting option for your vehicle without having to screw or bolt anything into place. It uses a tough mount wedge system, which is designed to go between your center console and your seat. I got this one with a one inch ram mount. You can get all this stuff at daraholsters.com like I did. In fact, I got this one with their proprietary quick release system called ALQD. I'll show you more details on that in just a minute. This is their expandable tough wedge system. You take this hard plastic plate with multiple mounting options on it and marry it up to this air bladder and sneak it inside this neoprene case. From there, you will mount your ram ball and head pivot system to one of these three options here on this plastic piece. Then you're just gonna slide it in between your seat and your center console and pump, pump, pump it up on the dance floor. Feet are stumpy. You're gonna pump it up until it's full of air, nice and tight, and you're ready to mount your gun. Like I said, I've got this ALQD system along with their belt mount option. This allows me to carry my firearm on my hip and remove the holster from my belt without removing the gun from the holster. And I can just click it or lock it into place and that works out really nice. Uh, I have a couple of links below for you so you can dig around and find the right parts and pieces that will work for you. So depending if you live in an open carry state or you have a particular job that requires some kind of setup like this or hell, maybe you live on 100 acres and you need to keep your firearm on you or nearby you to protect yourself from nature itself. I'm sure you could see how this would be very handy. For me, I'm just getting through a hurricane where things were sketchy for a few days and I had a chance to try it out in real life and it worked really good for me. But back to this quick release system. You push down on this top button here and then you kind of slide it back and out. Then you slide it into the new receiver block and slide it forward and you will feel a positive tactile click when it's locked into place. All in all, I really do like this system. It has a lot to offer. Uh, I like being able to mount a gun and move it from different vehicle and different situations without using nuts and bolts, something less permanent, um, just as needed. On their website, they have a lot of other different car mounting options. If this one isn't perfect for you and you're still looking for an alternative way to mount your gun in your car uh, while keeping it in a really nice holster from Dara Holsters. I use this a few different ways. I would carry this firearm like this in my backpack and then in my car, I would just lock it into place or I'd alternate by keeping my firearm in my door panel and then sliding it into this um, wedge system, uh, whatever I felt like doing. I would also carry in a traditional appendix style and remove my firearm and just insert it into the holster that I left attached to the, uh, the tough wedge system. I like this less because I'm pulling out a loaded gun, but I'll leave, uh, I'll leave your risk management up to you in regards to this. Overall, I think the whole unit and system is great. Just know that once you have it installed, you can't really move your um, passenger seat up and back very easily. And I had to create a new system uh, or the way I carry or store my gun safely during transitions of going in and out of my car. Many of you already know what I'm talking about as far as coming up with some sort of system or routine that works for you in a concealed carry environment between your home, work, your person, and your vehicle. Anyway, I just wanted to put this on your radar. Dara Holsters is the first company that sent me their products when I began the gun channel a couple of years ago. They're a US company run by husband and wife and their products are top notch. You've probably seen some of uh, their products reviewed on the channel before. This video is not sponsored by them, but they did send me this for free and they wanted me to keep it for a long-term review. So as soon as my gun range gets put back together from after the hurricane, Hurricane Ian, I'll be sure to create some time to get out there and start doing some drills, shooting out of my car and let you know what I think. And I just realized that some of you may not know that I live in Fort Myers, Florida. Yep, I was literally in the eye of the hurricane. It's certainly heartbreaking and that's why I'm shooting this video in my garage. Um, that's my bucket I wash my car with. It's my kicking bag for punching and striking. And over here is my extension cord that I use to run from my generator. In fact, the electricity I'm using on this camera came from my generator. I'm not going to lie, things are pretty brutal around here in regards to getting internet, electricity, but I'm, um, but I'm super grateful for everyone who came to Florida to help 
put us back together. It's definitely going to take years to recover from this. Hey, I was just editing the, uh, I was just going to edit the video and I looked like I was really sad and down. I'm totally exhausted, but super optimistic. So all your thoughts and prayers are wonderful. Thank you guys, everyone who's been thinking about us. It does, it does mean a lot. The support has been wonderful. I'll leave some footage at the end here of some of the, uh, some of the aftermath of uh, Hurricane Ian. But uh, thank you guys for coming by the channel. My name's Mike. You're at the Gun Channel. We'll see you soon.